been a while I uh, thought I'd just uh, make a quick video about um, uh, something that is not often talked about that is the struggle of the Jehovah's Witnesses single sisters not the single so I've talked about this before but today I just wanted to be a little bit silly and bring about uh, bring to you a true situation uh, okay you know <laughs> from the title it's uh, funny isn't it oh uh, yeah you can be door knocking and be gifted a baby as um, uh, you can be gifted a baby while door knocking as a Jehovah's Witness single sister as as war getting a suitable mate for your Jehovah's Witness uh, in this uh, group called the Jehovah's Witness you now things are getting from bad to worse you know these people are held hostage they are told that you can marry outside your organization you can marry outside outside your tiny little group that's how practical is that and you see jehovah's witnesses over the years you know will stick to these command or is it is it a doctrine i don't know you're a single sister and uh you find yourself in a congress uh, in a congregation comprising of uh, uh old women and men and uh children and all you do is pioneer you go out the door knocking you come back to the same congregation and um and also you find yourself in a circuit where uh, there's nothing really happening much in terms of finding a suitable mate and uh, for one you you really don't like to oh that's a brother right there how about you check him out whether that brothers whether you fancy him or not and you know, our Jehovah's Witness will expect that uh, you pick up on any brother or any brother who shows interest in you provided his spiritual um, Man, this thing, thinking about it now, how am I going to be able to make this video successfully? Excuse the noise here. I'm out here. Um, so, the more I think about the absurdity in this organization, I just want to stop for a moment and think. A religion tells you that you can marry outside your tiny little group. And you see people struggling praying to God give me a suitable mate you go to the grocery shop and you see a fine dude who say hey hey sister how, how you doing uh, can I get your number and you looked at him oh man this guy is damn gorgeous but because you're a Jehovah's Witness you, you let go if you're really the spiritual strong what they call in Nigeria strong Jehovah's Witness you let go yeah that's crazy so um sometimes there are those who can take it or those who are struggling at the time they just give uh uh they, they just give up and submit to whatever comes their way there's a story of the sister who and i think i know the sister then i was uh in my early teens at the time and this sister was damn gorgeous fine sister and um, um that was 
just about the time Breath of Life started to first came to a congregation. And uh, I will see how hang up uh, uh, hang uh, around with a few Bethelites, and I thought you uh, know Bethelites they like the gold uh, women, and they'll probably pick up. I don't know what happened. Uh, to be fair, there's some of the Bethelites that first came around. I would think that this sister would see herself as too pretty for this Bethelite. There's some old gone. O old baboons, old goon Bethelites, you know, see Bethelites in their, in their late 40s or 50s, you know, they, they are interested, you see them interested in uh, one damsel that's about 20 or 18 or 19, and for some of their sister, it doesn't just work for them, so uh, this sister was a pioneer, and uh, news came uh, that you know she got pregnant while door knocking. You know, apparently she found a very hot guy while door knocking, and uh, uh, started uh, going for a return visit. And the news that came in was that uh, an elder had suggested to this sister that hey. Uh, once you start uh, start up this uh, conversation with this dude, uh, you want to hand over the uh, continuation of this Bible study to a mature sister in the congregation. And of course, uh, this dude, this worldly guy, I think, was fascinated by a drop-dead gorgeous sister coming at his door to knock and talk about the gospel. And, she, you know, he kind of, wow, I won't let it go. For the love of Christ, whether or not I love this message, I love what I see. So, um, good looking house holder, good looking sister, God bless her soul for taking that decision. All right, so they got connected and um, in the months and weeks to follow, um, the gospel turned into uh, one that will culminate in the bedroom. And a few months later, pregnancy. And the whole city was on fire. Was on fire. I remember those days. Okay? Did you hear about sister so and so and so? You know, got pregnant by her householder. And all that. So, yeah. Why wouldn't she get pregnant by her, her householder, you know? It wasn't her intention, really, to go hunting for some dude who she couldn't resist. She was out there preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. No. She was out there preaching the gospel of Jehovah. They don't know Jesus uh, they, uh, they, uh, they talk about Jehovah. So that evangelism was for Jehovah. She was a pioneer. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, this house, she never knew what lay behind the curtain. Yeah. Fast forward, uh, the sister did not yield to the pressure, the mockery, the, the noise. The, you, you can expect to visualize what, you can just visualize the situation the sister was in, but she didn't give a damn. But the good thing is this guy got married to their sister no they made a family made a properly a proper family and they started living happily ever after oh in my mind in my child's mind at the time i said wow 
And everybody say, oh, this corrupt, this sister has, uh, has always been corrupt, you know. That's the desire of her heart, you know. Look at the way she dresses. Look at the way, man, Bethelites in that I knew coming to our congregation, they love that kind of sister. You know, they even love it when a sister is half naked. And what are you talking about? Well, I'll tell you, this sister seized that opportunity. So she, the gift she got presented with white door knocking was worthwhile. It couldn't have been better. So, um, I'm just trying to underline in this video that uh, if you're a single sister and um, you are struggling to get that brother and it's not coming your way and uh, the ones that are available are not the ones you, you, you can't just say yes to any brother just because you want to get married. I know some of you all might be under pressure. So, oh, let me just get it over the line. Get it over the line. You're going to be making... Well, the, a terrible mistake of your life. So by means of this video, I endorse your marriage or your affair with that brother. Uh, sorry, with that worldly guy. There ain't nothing wrong with this decision that you have made. A religious group that tells you to marry amongst themselves is a cult. There is no such thing. That is fucking crazy. Anyways, um, it's like I got company here. Who knows? It might be a Jehovah's Witness in the neighborhood eavesdropping on my conversation. You never know. So, I'm want to say. I'm going to see you on the other side of the river. Oh, just like Joshua told the nation of Israel. Was it on the other side of the So they got on the other side of the river. Uh, they got uh, whatever. So sisters, uh, brothers alike, uh, go for what you want. This organization, the Jehovah's Witness group, is a cult. You need to do your research if you are open-minded. You want to check out jwfacts.com, JW Survey, numerous YouTube videos. There is no shot of information that these group called the Jehovah's Witnesses are a call. Wesley Africa TV. Uh, you want to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. And I'm going to see you very soon. Yeah.